it's useful for a website to have a menu, and we expect it to have a menu at this point. There's this administrative menu, but that's basically a kind of a built-in menu that comes with Drupal, and you can edit the shortcuts for that. But I'm more concerned with the menus that actually show up. For example, this menu, which is our main menu. This is actually a menu up here as well, which is kind of the account menu. Um, down here, we don't have one, but sometimes you'll have one that gives you your terms of service or a help screen, and that's um, usually configured as a secondary menu on Drupal, but you can have as many menus or as few as you want. So if we click on structure, you'll see that one of the things we can um, structure is the menus, and you'll see that by default we have um, the main menu, the management menu, um, the navigation menu uh, for site visitors, um, and the user menu, which is the one with the login, logout types of things. Um, but we can add a menu if we wanted. Uh, why not? Uh, we can add the uh, polls menu. Oops, we should spell it right. Um, uh, a. Let's, oh no, don't crash on me. There we go. <laughs> polls with two L's. Um, polls menu and uh, well polls okay I can't type today there we go we'll just save it for now so we have a new menu yay now this is a very empty menu let's go ahead and add a link um, where are we gonna add a link to we'll call it radness and the path is um, well wow content Drupal rad um, <laughs> we're lucky because we kind of are doing the overlay on that and weather or not Drupal is rad. We'll say that we want it to be enabled. Um, this is fine. We don't have children on this one, just the top level. Uh, the parent link is polls. That's fine. It's at the very top. And wait, this determines um, where on the menu this will fall because it's we only have one item. It's obviously going to be first and last and everything in between. Um, so we go ahead and we save that. Now we can save the menu itself. And yay, we have a new menu. Now, just because we have a new menu doesn't really help us that much, um, because with the, although we have a menu, we don't we haven't put it anywhere. So let's um, go to our blocks and um, let's go down to the um, things that are not the things that are disabled, and we'll see that we have something here called polls. We probably should have called that polls menu so it was clearer, and we can put it. Um, we'll put it down. Um, at just below the very just above the very bottom of the page and we'll save the blocks and, and now we can take a look and see whether it's showing up there it'll take a second to refresh and now if we look down at the bottom you'll see that we have a polls and radness is the one thing on the poll so if we click on that it will take us to is Drupal rad so we've created a really dumb menu here with just one item we could again we could configure this we could edit the menu, um, for example, um, uh, and we could move things around. Once we have multiple items, we don't have to do wait. We can actually move it up or down. Actually, let's go back real quick to menus, and we can do that with our home menu, the main menu. We'll edit the menu. So, for example, if we thought that galleries were really important, we could, oops, wrong one, we could move it up here to the top, not up to the under home, but right here. And then we can save it, and you'll see that we can, it's now moving, it's reloading, <laughs> and it's moved galleries up here. So we can do, we can basically, again, without ever touching HTML or anything, um, have multiple menus and have them all uh, located in different, lo in different places.